going on everybody it is your favorite auntie mo and i am back with another mukbang doing what i love to do best baby that's eat you already know how your auntie likes to do i just got regular little snow crab some sausage potato corn some eggs some cucumbers some of that good old bee love sauce mm -hmm. i haven't even tasted it yet and um some lemons I've got my Moscato. Y'all know Moscato make it Auntie Hotto, so you already see the glisten and the dew going on. And of course, my ice water. I am doing um, viewer, um, what am I going to call this? Y'all, y'all already know with the mukbang, I'm just going with it as it go. But I had some viewer topics that, uh, well, one in particular, I asked about two weeks ago for a viewer topic, and I filmed my mukbang last weekend but it did not turn out the way that I wanted it to, so therefore I did not upload it. The jury is still out on that one. But y'all, let me pray real quick so I can get to eating. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. God bless anybody and everybody that has clicked on this video. God bless all of my subscribers, all of my nieces and nephews out there. I love them. I pray that you bless them financially, bless their health, wealth, everything, and anything that they are praying on, Lord. We thank you for these blessings and blessings we have yet to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, I'm so, where my towel go, Lord? Woo! First of all, y'all like this shirt? I got this shirt at Walmart. Ha! <laughs> $6 at Walmart. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm so doggone hungry, y'all. And don't think, nobody, please don't think that I forgot about you. But I, like I said, I have filmed the, I recorded a video last weekend, but it just did not turn out the way that I wanted it to. Mmm. I don't know if it was a good idea to wear this white shirt. That's all right. I got a little, ooh, shucky ducky. That sauce hit me, Lord. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Now listen, this is not the smack of lit. Now, Auntie B Love, if you're watching this, Auntie B Love, girl, let me tell you, I put in for the reminders to get the sauce off of Amazon. Every time I get the reminder, I'm like, ooh. Every time I get the reminder, first of all, I'm at work or something. So I'm like, okay, well, dang, let me finish what I'm doing, and then I'm going to go buy the sauce. God damn it, when I tell you I go to buy the sauce, the sauce is gone. I said, oh, no, ma'am. Then I was like, well, let me go on, um, like, eBay or something like that. Niggas is out their mind. They trying to sell that sauce for $100 and $200. I see somebody trying to sell that sauce for $500. Are you for real? Are you for real? Now, Auntie B. Love, girl, I love you, but, um. Uh, $500 for some smackless sauce. When all I got to do is YouTube how to make it. <laughs> and I made it all the same. The only thing I didn't do, I didn't do, I did it with the beer. I didn't do it with the Coke just because I don't like the Coke. But I got the pickled ginger, the onions, the 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 garlic. Mm. Man, hold on. This B Love sauce is one of a freaking kind. Mm. Again, this is not the Smack Delicious sauce that she's selling on Amazon, but this is the sauce. If you just Google, when I even Google, yeah, if you just put in a YouTube search, um, B Love's Life Smack Delicious sauce. The recipe is up there, how to do it. Mm. I didn't want it dribble so early in the doggone video. But y'all, oh my gosh, this be love sauce. But you're looking at me like Auntie Mo, damn, really? Hell yeah. Oh! Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, you are. Wow. Why must the sauce be so damn good? Yeah. 
I'm trying not to have dribble on my face because when me and my sister did the wing stock mukbang, y'all didn't even tell me. I had grease for days on my face, but I wasn't paying no attention because I was just trying to eat and talk with my sister. Shit. Mm, mm. Okay, let me get some of this, some of this here snow crab popping. This is the part I can't do. How's everybody been doing? I actually show enough mission. I know if y'all like me, y'all upset because ain't no dog on power on this week. Fifty made it known we need to be protesting somebody. I know you're not supposed to do that. That's why y'all don't do what I do. I might have to go get my skizzes though. Oh, here we go. Y'all bear with me now. <laughs> Man, that's so doggone good. Mm, mm, mm. You would think, as much as I eat snow crab, I'll be sick and tired of it. But I'm not. I love snow crab. It is the bomb. I'm gonna get to the topic, y'all, in just a moment. I just had to get into some of this delicacy that I done made, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. I've been going hard in the paint. And I should record as much as I'm in the kitchen, and I wanna get into the habit of doing that, but Getting your, your niche down, what you're trying to do with your YouTube channel in itself is hard enough. And so I'm just trying to stay focused on continuing to grow with my reviews and things like that. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. But in the future, I do plan on bringing some more cooking. Because I was doing cooking at a point in time. I forgot my scissors. I'm gonna have to pause. All right, y'all, I'm back. I have to go get some scissors, man. My kitchen shirts. Somebody asked me if I was gonna be reviewing, I think it's called David Makes Man. I never heard of that show, but I've gotten three different requests to review it, so I think I am gonna start reviewing it. Um, Y'all drop down below and let me know if you're not somebody who has already asked me to review that. What is it even about? If it's on Showtime, my nose is good. But I need to know what I'm signing up for, you know what I'm saying? Real though. I was gonna get some muscles. I don't know why I didn't. Cause I figured this right here would be enough. And I see all this goody goodness.
Don't do that to me, see? Fine came out for me. I was struggling with this um bitch too, man. Y'all wrong, man. I was struggling with it. <coughs> man. But yeah, Auntie B Love. I'ma need like a secret VIP code or something so I can get it before before it hit. Amazon, because baby, what I'm telling you, as soon as it hit Amazon, it's out each and every time I've tried the last couple times. And I'm telling you, as soon as it hit, as soon as it says it's available, it is out. But I'm going to keep on trying. Mm. Whew. I'm going to keep on trying until I can get that dog on sauce. Because, yes, what I make is the bomb. But, you know, when it's the original, you want to try that original, too. Y'all know I ain't lying. Mm. Y'all, I got Polish sausage for the first time. I'm probably late as hell, but I ain't never had Polish sausage. It's so damn good. Speaking of B-Love, y'all see B-Love been doing a damn thing. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are fans of B-Love like I am, but man, she been doing some tight mukbangs lately. She had um, Tamar. She had Lil Mama on there just recently. What was that, today? She had Mariah Lynn. Damn, now all the people from Love and Hip Hop done been on there. Seem like. That's the bomb, though. B-Love is somebody that I look up to when it comes to a lot of these, um, just YouTube in general. Just seeing her hustle. Because I want my page to be successful like hers. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. The opportunity to become successful off of YouTube. Dang, for real. You ain't good. But the opportunity is out there. As you can see, it's so many doggone people getting famous off of YouTube. And I don't even really want to be YouTube famous. I just want to be YouTube successful. Meaning I want to be able to take care of my family. I want us to be able to live comfortably. Not have no stresses and no worries. Pay our tithes and offerings to the Lord like we're supposed to. And just live comfortably, Lord. That's all I want. Where my napkins go? Okay, I'm going to get into this. This... <laughs> I know y'all like, uh, Auntie Mo, when you finna get into this doggone, I'm finna get into it right now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I needed just something to hit the spot real quick so I can be ready to get into it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, I don't know if you want me to say who this is from, so I'm not going to say who it's from. Get that off my dog on face. Y'all just going to let me be out here looking bad. Y'all wrong. Y'all do your auntie raggedy. Okay, so, I'm not going to say who this is from, but... The topic is, y'all excuse me. Oh, that was so unladylike, but I'm a fucking lady though. I'm having a problem with my cousin not doing what she's supposed to do for her kids and they are suffering because of her. When do you think it's time to step in and intervene? So far, her kids have missed 
um, at least 10 days of school and school hasn't even been in a whole month. I'm worried she will keep my niece away from me and every time I have to talk to her about it, her BS turns into a huge fight. I guess what I'm saying is, maybe could you talk about when it's necessary to get involved for the sake of the children? Well, damn, well, who is this? You said this is your cousin? Wow. Well, it depends. It depends. Now, first and foremost, let me let you know about auntie. I'm the type of person, if I don't involve you in my business, it's not really a place to get in it. But I feel like there are certain times when you should step in, depending on the severity of the situation. Now, this situation with your kinfolk, sooner or later, the school is going to start getting involved in it. If she done missed 10 days of school already, the school finna start getting involved in it anyway. So you ain't even got to worry about stepping in. But again, at the same time, that's your kinfolk and you don't want to see nothing bad happen to your kinfolk or your nieces or your, you know, your cousins or any of that. My advice to you would be is to tread lightly and watch what you say because even if you do have good intentions, what you say can be misconstrued. And even when you have a valid point, what you're trying to make, the other person won't necessarily perceive that if your delivery is the wrong way. And and a lot of times it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And trust me, I'm living, I'm I'm guilty of that as well. I'm living proof of that, that it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And even though you may have good intentions, it could be your delivery that could throw your cousin off. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to watch what you say and then what it is that you want to say to this person. Like, okay, are you intervening with the solution? Are you just intervening with your opinion? Because if you're just intervening with your opinion and there's no solution to it, then I say keep keep your opinion to yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you're just going to be there to bash this person about what they're not doing as a mother and what's best for the child and, and this, that, and the other, I get that. But if you're not coming with no solution to it, what you're saying might not be perceived and it might not be accepted the right way. You feel what I'm saying? You just got to be careful with that. Because I, I can honestly say myself, you depending on what it is you say to me, if you're trying to get me to understand something, the way you approach me has a lot to do with whether or not I'm going to receive that information and I'm going to do what, you know, try to change what it is that you're telling me to change. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm -mm. Now, another thing you got to take a look at is what's going on with your kinfolk. You never know. Your kinfolk might need help, but she might be too prideful to say she needs some help. You know what I'm saying? So, it might not be a bad idea to find out what's going on with her, what's going on with her mental. You know what I'm saying? It could be a reason... I, of course, it's a reason for everything, but I say just tread lightly, watch what you say, and again, if you are not approaching with a solution, if you're just approaching to give your opinion, I say probably don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Let let your auntie and them, uh, <laughs> grandmama, big mama, whoever, the, the head of the household or head of the family or whoever is. Let them handle it and be able to talk to that person. But, um, yeah, I feel, you know, depending on who the person is, too, whether or not I would I would get involved in certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you and your cousin, ooh, look at, I just, y'all, I just got to show you this big-ass hunk of crab I just got out of here. Mmm. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Auntie had to go in for a minute. But, um, yeah, like I said, if you just approach it with your opinion and you don't have no solution to it, then don't say nothing. Because depending on who it is, that shit can be taken the wrong way. Especially if you got some old battered ass cousin. 
that's ready to pop off and fight at the drop of a dime. You got to watch what you say to people like that. Because even though you don't want no problems, <laughs> baby, they with the shits. They don't even care. They want all the problems. Mm-hmm. Y'all, come on now. Where that? I was worried this crab wasn't going to be meaty. Because I was watching, um, whose look mom was that I was watching? Was it Steph and Tasha's? Um, I don't know. I was watching somebody's mukbang, and they was mad because they didn't have a whole lot of meat in their um, crab legs. And I was like, man, don't tell me that. But these crab legs have been coming through. They not disappointing. But yeah, girl, that's to my niece out there. And like I said, I don't want to say who you are because I don't know if you, you know what I'm saying, you want your name to be said or whoever it is. But just know, if it were me, depending again, like I said, it depends too, like how close you are with that cousin. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're close enough to keep it real with your cousin, like let you know, like, hey, what you're doing out here is messed up in these streets and these kids are the ones suffering from it. Should I say, let's let her know. Let her know what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Keep it real with her. You rather keep it real and tell her what you got to say to her face and not talk about her behind her back. Because that's one thing I can't stand neither. Is when people see somebody going through something, but instead of you approaching them and seeing what it is that they need and how you can help them, you talk shit about them behind their back. And not even talk shit about them. You just talk about them from a distance. Like, ooh, I hope they do this. Or, ooh, I hope she do that. How about you go help them and stop sitting from the sideline? Watching shit go down. I'm just saying. Two of you guys asked about me having a P.O. box. I will be getting a P.O. box. I don't know. I thought I was going to get one this weekend. But that made me feel special. Why? Y'all going to send me something? <laughs> what you going to send me? I sure will go PO, get a P.O. box. But in the meantime, my auntie show got a cash app. <laughs> cash app is Moham Steve. <clears throat> I will be getting a P.O. box soon, so if you guys want to send me stuff, please feel free to. But in the meantime, if you are interested in sending me anything, email me personally, and I will give you the address where you can send me some stuff to. And thank you in advance for you even think about your auntie like that. That's so sweet. <laughs> you know. You know. Mm. All right, guys. So I have another viewer question here. It says, what about social media and unrealistic expectations? Well, let me tell you. One of the unrealistic expectations I had when it came to starting YouTube was that once I uploaded a video, that sucker was going to skyrocket and I was going to be making bank. That it wouldn't take anything to get these 4,000 hours. <laughs> that why wouldn't I be able to get 1,000 subscribers? Like, 
duh. The unrealistic expectation that I had was basically trying to I think I can say that. I, when I first started YouTube, I thought it would be super easy. And I put so much time into thinking about how I wanted my channel to go because I just knew once I started it, it would be easy as hell to do. Like everybody does YouTube and it seems so easy. Like why wouldn't it be easy for me? Like I'm, I think I'm pretty smart. So after uploading that first video and seeing that you have to get so many hours, you have to get so many subscribers, basically you have to stay relevant. The unrealistic expectation that I had is that once I uploaded a video, it was going to skyrocket. <laughs> and my family was going to be financially set that, you know, we weren't going to have Excuse me, we weren't gonna have any financial troubles, none of that. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had an egg. Oh. Mm. I'll get back to your question in a minute. Hold on. Somebody said boiled eggs don't go over the seafood. Boy, you got your goddamn mind. You are your rabbit ass mind. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I think is another unrealistic expectation about social media? This damn flat tummy tea. Why are all these females out here advertising this flat tummy tea? If you drink this tea, it's gonna make your stomach flat. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I'm not saying that because I tried it, because I'm not dumb enough to try to think, thinking I'm actually gonna drink a cup of tea and it's gonna make my stomach small, but just stuff like that. Like, <laughs> the advertisements and stuff that people put out here, that's, come on now, really? This pickle ginger is what set this sauce off right home. Y'all, auntie getting a little full. I still got a whole crab, two crab clusters down there that I'm not gonna get to. <laughs> And the shrimp is so good. <sighs> Woo! Last viewer question right here, or topic. I'd love to hear some important milestones in your life that stand out to you that were positive. Well... First and foremost, um, look at this. I'm scared to even touch my hair. I've got B Love sauce all over my hands. <laughs> First and foremost, of course, it would have to be getting married. Um, for y'all out there that are married, you know, marriage is, it's a fickle bitch. <laughs> it is hard to tell. Me and my husband have had ups and downs. We, <sighs> We've just been through it and we have stuck it out. It's not been easy, but that has been a big milestone for me. Another milestone for me, um, of course, was having my son. Me and my husband have been through a miscarriage before. We went through a couple miscarriages and so that was really hard. So when I, and I was scared that I almost thought I was miscarrying with my son when I was pregnant with him. And so having him changed my life completely can change my it changed my life for the better that is because I lost um y'all that are my nieces and my nephews out there already know that I lost my mother in 07 to cancer 
And um, shortly after that, I lost my aunt to cancer. I lost um, my grandmother to health problems, my other grandmother. And so having those back-to-back -back losses, my son, in a way, he kind of made up for the, the losses and the, the emptiness that I was feeling losing all the women that were really, really close to me. My son, you know, he kind of, you know, made up for that loss. Um, another milestone, I think I would say for me really is starting this YouTube channel. Y'all just don't know. I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for almost eight years now. And I recently started it this past April, 2019. And April 9th, to be exact, was the first day that I uploaded my video. And it, I say it's a milestone for me because for the longest I wanted to do it, but I was so afraid of everybody's opinions and what people would say, what people would think, you know. And it made me so fearful that I did not, like, I put it off for so long starting this channel. And so when I finally started it, it was, it was hard, but it was way, way easier than what I thought it would be. So a milestone for me was just getting over my fear, starting this YouTube channel. And just to know that I've got people that really rock with me. Like, I've got some day ones. Like, y'all have been here from day one, like, for real. And y'all comment and y'all, y'all, y'all give me feedback. I... I appreciate all the constructive criticism that I get from people. And you know, like I was saying earlier, it's not what you say, it's how you say it because I can take any advice that anybody gives me it's if you deliver it in a way that I'm willing to receive it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just grateful to everybody out there that's just been rocking with me. These milestones you and I are creating together when it comes to this YouTube channel. Like you seen me, um, what I did by milestone for 100 subscribers and, you know, for 250 and 500 and all that. And so y'all have been here with me and y'all are going through these YouTube milestones with me. So thank y'all for that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I am full in the tick. I don't think I can eat anything else, although I'm not. I might eat a couple more shrimp once I turn this camera off. But, um, yes. Hopefully, I answered you guys' questions, your, your topics that you had. To my niece out there, again, when it comes to your cousin, if you ain't coming with some advice that's got a solution to it, don't say nothing because you could be causing more problems than what you bargained for. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I plan on doing this again this, um, probably next weekend. I ain't lying. Not this coming weekend because I'm tired. And then... We don't know what's going on with power. Y'all, that's got me and my feelings for real, for real. I, I need to know. Like, I need to know who, who Tommy finna go kill after this. Because you know he finna go kill somebody after Keisha. But I'm just saying, y'all. But um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i holla